Hey, how's it going guys? Shaq and Maddie with the Toasty Bros. And today we're excited to bring you a full GameStop setup. So what we like to do here at the Toasty Bros is we like to buy all the peripherals from a certain retailer to see what kind of options do you have to buy a gaming monitor, a mouse, a keyboard, a mouse pad, and everything. And today we're doing GameStop, but our friends over at Thermal Take and their Liquid Cool Gaming System line was nice enough to sponsor this video. This PC right here is the Arctic i360T R4, which features an i5 12600K F and RTX 3060 Ti. 16 gigs of RAM, and of course, it's in this beautiful frame case. There is normally glass right here, but for video purposes, we took it off so you can see it. It's an absolutely awesome pre build that you can actually buy from Amazon with Prime shipping. So, definitely check the link down below. We'll be testing this PC and a bunch of new titles on this setup. But big thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. Well, let's not waste any more time and talk a little bit more about this PC and then everything we bought from GameStop. So, this PC right here is from Thermal Take, and they actually have a pre built company if you didn't know that, but yeah, this thing's pretty cool because this is in the Thermaltake P3. This is actually a product line that we're really familiar with because we we started building with these really early on. We built Zach's PC um, in this case right when it came out pretty much and he had it mounted on his wall. That's actually one of the fun parts about this case is it has all these holes in the back which you can actually get a plate for. It's usually included to my knowledge and then you can mount it on the wall like a picture frame. It's literally a picture frame PC but as you can see you got your power supply nice and suspended here. It's very open too so besides the glass that normally be here you're definitely not going to find better airflow in any other case. And because of that, you don't really need tons of fans. I mean, the build's naturally going to be the ambient temperature of the room. And then, of course, you got a little radiator over here, and that's just to keep the radiator cooled for the CPU. But other than that, everything's going to be about as cool as your room is, so that's pretty sweet. Now, we do have an RTX 3060 Ti, and it's an MSI one. Under here, we have the 12600K, which has the performance and efficiency cores. We love that CPU. It's an amazing CPU that pairs well with really any graphics card. It looks like Thermal Take actually threw in their own power supply. We have one of the GF1 80 plus golds and it's a 650 watt. We absolutely love these things. Fully modular too, and they're not expensive. That's one of the best parts about them. Now we have 16 gigs of the Thermal Take Tough RAM, which a lot of people probably don't even know exists. We haven't really seen it too often, but I love the design of it. It's definitely very different, you know, compared it's to tough. what you're, it's tough. It's <laughs> different than what you're used to seeing, but 16 gigs of 3600 megahertz, it's RGB. Everything's set to blue right now. We have a very nice white 360 mil, and that's also a Thermal Take. Then the motherboard is an MSI Z690A that does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. It's gonna be six as well, because well, it's a Z690, so latest and greatest. And now for the storage, we have an MSI N390 one terabyte NVMe SSD, and it's actually hiding right under that heatsink there. It's definitely interesting seeing Thermal Take and MSI definitely, you know, working together here in a sense because I don't see any other brands. So good on them for working with some other companies. So let's go and talk about the rest of the setup and what we actually bought from GameStop. All right, guys, I just read the name of the monitor off that box. This is the MSI Optics Mag 240. Zero R, I think that's what it was. I've already lost it kind of. I didn't but, go quick enough. But yeah, so what we have right here is a 24 inch monitor and this is actually, <laughs> wow, <laughs> I just I just shoved it down with its adjustable feature. This was a great deal. So we actually bought this from GameStop as a refurb and buying a refurb monitor is, well, a good thing you can do. Look at that RGB actually, that's kind of clean looking, I'll be honest with you, but you can save a lot of money that way. There are some risks obviously, but GameStop sold this thing for 120 bucks and it was a 1080p 165 hertz curved monitor it is 24 inches, so it's a little bit smaller than like a normal 27 inch that a lot of people like to get, but I think that's a crazy good deal. It did show up with some wear and tear. Um, let me see if I can show them the power cord. Uh, yeah, the power cord, it's right around this corner hiding from Jackson, but it does have some wear and tear on it. Um, it clearly was used. It was wrapped in like a rubber band um, and it, yeah, it looked used, but it's working. So we got that going for us. So I think we got a really good deal there. Definitely keep an eye out for some deals. Jackson's looking really hard for uh, pixels. Are there dead pixels? Well, I don't know, like just <laughs> look at this side of the screen. Is the logo just really low res or like, Oh wait, I see like some weird, <laughs> is that, look, all right, we gotta pull something up here, let's see. Oh, it is a 1080p monitor, so. Yeah. yeah, this this is weird. I don't know, it does, it's not like the sharpest display I've ever seen. Like there's definitely some blocky pixelation. I don't know how well the camera can pick it up. Um, but yeah, that's just one weird thing. I don't know if there is actually a defect with the monitor. <laughs> we'll find out when we're gaming, but yeah, $120 high refresh rate monitor. That's what we got from GameStop. Now for the keyboard, we had to get some pretty high-end peripherals because GameStop only sells like name brand stuff. You can't get those cheap knockoff brands like we do on Amazon. This is the SteelSeries Apex 7 uh, 10 keyless keyboard. It has a red switch. Click. There you go, nice and linear, looking pretty good there. Comes with a wrist rest that is magnetic and it actually 
connects pretty well. So there's that. There's a lot of hiring companies out there, <coughs> Razer, um, that don't do a good job of that. Um, but yeah, it has RGB, looks pretty clean. And for the mouse, we actually went wireless here. This is the G305 from Logitech. It's a very basic mouse, no crazy RGB, but it is wireless. So you do have that functionality and you can, you know, get really low latency gameplay while also being wireless and uh, have a clean desk setup. And it's all on top of this Steel Series mouse mat, which is the Neo Neor uh, Quick Prism mouse mat. It's extended mouse mat with RGB. They're kind of going for the retro wave, like 80s theme here, which is very overdone in the PC tech space nowadays, but it does look pretty cool. Um, if you're looking for something like this, it is a unique mouse pad from a name brand like Steel Series that does make really good mouse mats. And uh, the last thing are these headphones. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on here. These are kind of cool. These are Logitech headphones. Oh, I missed a peel. It looks almost like Corsair. It kind of looks Corsair-like, if I'm being honest here, but this is the G435 wireless headset, and it has these like little bungee cords. When you adjust it, <laughs> it kind of just goes up and down. I don't think this does anything. The adjustment's actually in the headset, as far as I know. Well, that's that's the wire for the actual. So yeah, yeah. you know, they could have concealed it, but they just wanted to be kind of cool. You know, a little bungee right there. Um, very lightweight. It feels great. I mean, I can't hear anything at all right now. And it is also wireless, obviously. So we got two wireless peripherals from uh, Logitech here. And altogether, you know what, I'm gonna verify. I think I put a price on here for the setup. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna do quick maths, because I did not add this up. <laughs> 127 for the monitor, $7 more than I said. I just lied to you guys. Um, we got $96 for this keyboard, pricey keyboard. Uh, the G305 was $37.99. The mouse pad was $39.99, so pretty expensive for a mouse pad. And the headset was $55.99. So all around, pretty good value. You can add that number up right here on the screen, McAllister. Can you do that for me? There and you go. And Zach, technically. And Zach, technically. So there's Work the total. Together. Yeah, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is test this liquid cooled gaming system from Thermal Take. Uh, we actually got the new Spider-Man game too. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's do some gaming. All right, guys, we're running some Apex Legends and we are maxed out right now. And look at the freaking FPS we're getting. Ooh. We're going above and beyond our high refresh rate. And yeah, um, now that we're actually in the game, I mean, 1080p is 1080p. You know, it's only 24 inches, so it's not it's not too pixelated or anything, but um, it definitely seems like that was just the Windows logo being weird. Yeah, the Honestly. sharpness is kind of weird. I don't know, like some 1080p monitors just look different, I guess. Well, Windows is a small company, so they probably... <laughs> small indie company. They probably couldn't afford, like, the very good graphics. You know? Jackson is playing with very limited audio, so you all can hear audio, yeah, so... Yeah, I, I don't even know, like, where anyone is, so, yeah. Okay, it's gone. No! Oh, oh man. That guy's too 20 20 Nice. The only thing I can think of that's, like, more iconic than this game, maybe, would be, uh... What's the call of doing that? Uh, Nuke Town? Nuke Town? Oh, Nuke Town's got Halo Bundle. I don't like to do much in my teammates at times. Being the damage guy. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh! Oh! oh you're so <laughs> close to getting that. That was a. I can't believe I hit that shot. Hey! They literally they did not hit a single <laughs> shot on it. Wow. Him, man. Apex Legends, ladies and gentlemen. Clean sweep. You'll love to see it. Good vibes. Good vibes on me. Alright, gamers. I'm doing I'm doing what everyone needs to do. I'm buying Goku. <laughs> Purchase items. Equipped. 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 Let's freaking go. Alright guys, we're now in Fortnite performance mode. No JK, this is Dragon Ball Z. Alright, um, so we're gonna drop in. We'll go Tilted, you know? I feel like I have to take my talents to Tilted. Let's see what happens. We're getting 300 plus FPS. We are on performance mode, which you really don't need to be on performance mode with this, um, but if you really want crazy high refresh rate, then you can do that. All right, we're landing, ladies and gentlemen. I can bar I can barely hear what's going on. We're gonna run with it. And if I see the day, Goku, armed and dangerous. Ooh, put that out of character. We got, a, we got a builder. Okay. That was, that was kind of pathetic. The FPS oh. ain't pathetic. Oh double, my double goodness. Kill, no problem. Wow, what the heck? <laughs> Fortnite. Fortnite 500 <laughs> FPS. That's kind of part of Fortnite, guys. Take Fortnite with a grain of salt. A lot of times, whenever we re benchmark Fortnite, like we re, -re benchmark this and the next update comes out, it's going to get 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna get through that you. Oh! Damn, what was that? It's like you charge it up, and then it goes, oh, no, I'm just waiting for the day that, like, I don't, I don't know when it's gonna happen when you make it out of, like, the bot lobby. <laughs> this, is, this is the professional league. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Wow, look at that. I am super saiyan. Oh, hello, bull. I didn't need that from you, sir. All right, here you go. I so watched this a lot when I was a kid, Dragon Ball, but I don't remember much about it. <laughs> I haven't seen gas prices like that in a long time. There's 15 people left. Go after a bot. Oh. Flaming Gula. You're done. Oh, I have to do this. Seven seconds. Oh my god! The real person found me! Oh, that sucks. But there's Fortnite, extended Fortnite, and I got sixth place. Oh, they did it. Oh, right. oh, here we go. Can I drag the ball in there? Yes. Oh, that, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. That is pretty cool. All right, next game. All right, guys, this is Battlefield 5. I'm driving a boat. I don't even know I could drive a boat. This is so realistic. Do I have any people with me? I think I might have left everyone behind. I kind of just took a whole yeah, boat. Somebody on the gun like, over there. Multiple people. I think it's a, oh yeah, there is. Wow, look at you, is that an enemy? <laughs> yeah, they Lando! Spot on He's yeah, running I'm high really settings right now. There. Yeah, high settings. All right. They're getting over 100 FPS, so. Getting pretty close to a higher refresh rate. We could obviously lower the settings some more and definitely get a little bit more FPS out of it, but I'm pretty happy with this. I like how it looks. <laughs> oh, oh God. His buddy got it was you. a mistake. Yeah. I can't believe I just missed that headshot. <laughs> I'm getting help. <coughs> Gosh, this is always, it always feels like such a good day when I get help in, in this game, you know? This building has some super realistic uh, mechanics, though. It was like actually blowing up and falling into pieces and stuff. Is there still gonna be a tank up here, you think? Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're good, Sawgun. Don't get out. I'm gonna run this guy over. He's pissing me off. This team sucks, J Duck. Oh! What? Who killed me? Come oh, on. My. Why did that guy lay down like sideways, too, though? Great game. We had someone else leave our squad. I'm leaving the squad. <laughs> All right, let's play some Spider Man. All right, guys, we're now in Spider-Man. Let's go, baby. Um, let's look at the settings. I think we're on high settings, 1080p. We're using some uh, AMD FSR. So, you know, we actually get some upscaling performance here and uh, getting good results. 100 plus FPS, 160 actually. So uh, yeah, definitely a pretty looking game and you can always mess with the settings if you want to. I played this once last night for like a few minutes, so bear with me, I'm trying to remember how to actually play. No, don't kill me. Please. Okay, reheal. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a very GP dependent game, but it's really cool to see a port that actually has, you know, good settings. Oh, God. Don't me web you. Web me. I don't like this. Ugh. You should let me web you. You've been webbed, buddy. Oh goodness. You done taking hits, my dude? I'm gonna find out that hit does no what? damage to him soon. Why do I have to fight both of them? Oh, did I just die? Oh no, I <laughs> died. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll just, oh god, I'm not gonna fight. Oh, you know what, no, I'm gonna try one more time. And I just got killed again. Forget this. <laughs> you know what? That's the setup. This thermal take PC, awesome. But you know what? It doesn't make you good at Spider Man. You know, you, I, I got work to do. But uh, yeah, there we go. Awesome benchmarking on this PC. And this setup's not too bad from GameStop. The monitor works. It's not the highest quality monitor in the world, but we paid 120 bucks for a high refresh rate 1080p monitor. So really can't complain too much. Let's go and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this full setup and I'm really digging it. I mean, everything worked out really well. The keyboard, mouse, mouse mat, the monitor even that was refurbished actually worked really well in our favor and we got some really good prices and everything from GameStop. Yeah, GameStop wasn't too bad and uh, now that they're selling PC hardware, they do have some one-off deals. So definitely check the links down below to check out GameStop and see if there's any deals in stock for you to take advantage of. And we'll also leave some other suggestions down below that we do recommend from a variety of retailers. But also a big thing is to get the thermal take for this liquid cooled game gaming system, really awesome. And if you wanna buy it, link down below as well. Special thanks again to them for sponsoring this video and uh, always happy to take a look at their pre-built gaming PCs. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.
And if you guys didn't know, aside from the other two YouTube channels and the Twitch, we also have Instagram, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we also have TikTok, and of course, we live stream. And on TikTok, there's a TikTok of a waifu graphics card. That's all I gotta say. You're gonna run to that TikTok right now. Uh, yeah, check out all our social media, links in the description. See you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.